adding a color solid taking it down and let's crank the intensity of the film grain up so you can see it's just random noise and whether that noise is monochromatic or not is up to you um, let's take the grain size up let's take the grain size up quite large again you can see what it's doing we can we've got a bit of control over over what we do now one of the things that you should know about the grain especially for what we're about to do in a second uh is that it is um completely random and i don't mean that in a controllable random effect i mean that whatever you do here even if you just touch something without changing it it actually is completely random so whatever you do has a huge effect on this. So I'm just scrubbing with my pen. And I'm scrubbing without making any changes to the grain size at all. And I'm still getting random noise. I can move back and forward and I'll get a different bit of random noise. Now why why is this important or why why do I care about this? Well what I'm gonna uh, do in just a second is I'm going to create a bit of uh, film damage. Now, if I um, don't have controllable randomness on this, it means that every time I play back a shot, the film damage is gonna be in a slightly different way. So, um, so I've never got kind of full control over, over this stuff. You know, a lot of the time I do tend to hold back on the film grain anyway because um because too much of it is you know it's it's a little bit of a um a little bit of a cliche uh you know really really heavy film film grain on everything that you do um but in cer certain circumstances it's it's there and it's nice to to add a bit of life to it depending on your workflow where you're going out to you might want to add a bit of grain so um let's explore that a little bit more here Right, uh, so I've got my um, my color. I've got my film grain here. I'm gonna. I'll show. I'll, I'll leave the color set to to middle gray to begin with, just so you can see what's going on. And I'm gonna use a stretch node here. Plug that in, and I can stretch either horizontally or vertically. And that'll take me up to 10 just by scrubbing. It'll take me up to 10 and then stop. If I want to go any further, I can type the in numbers here. So I want to go up to 100, 200, 1,000, whatever I want. So let's take this to something where we do actually have stripes. So I think maybe 300. I'm going to start getting some nice, nice stripes going on in there. And I'm going to come back into my color here, actually, to show you this, come back into my color and desaturate that and take that all the way down to black. Just check what my prefs are. My internal pixel format is currently set to floating point, which has been throughout the whole of the time. This is going to be important again in a second. Okay, so I've got my stretch going on my film grain I can hardly see the uh, the grain here so let's merge these two branches together and I'm going to merge them with an add so my source one bias well I want all of source one and I want all of source two So at the moment, I'm getting a whole load of little film grain stripes. It's looking exceedingly weird. Um, I'm going to come into my setup now. And I'm going to change my internal pixel format down to 16-bit instead. Because what's happening... 